This section that abuts the, the road was once a big hill and scraped down to rock so that they could use the dirt to build the road. And you know, progress, it was a, a very important road, a good thing to do. But unfortunately at the time, they just threw a bunch of grass seed and left it. So every tree that is growing around here is actually just random. And unfortunately also, because they scraped down to the, the bare rock, the trees that have grown are uh, just too tall, very weak, shallow trunks. And they're also right on top of bedrock. So they, they die quickly. Um, we had several burn down during a burn last month and uh, they were dead and filled with termites, but it's sad because the monkeys loved them. But anyhow, I guess that's a chance for us to thin out everything, clean out all of the junk, and figure out where to plant the canopy trees and plan for the monkeys and future growth. And it's just a lot of work. And it's one of those things you just, I didn't expect when the fire hit. It started out with just a tree catching on fire and no one being here except me to put out a potential forest fire and uh, and it has morphed into this massive regeneration project for newly exposed land that we have recently cut back that I just didn't realize existed before. So we've been trying to get rid of things like um, the sycamore tree here. These produce gourds and terrible weeds. They're just trunks. They're difficult to cut with a nylon weed machine and they're invasive and they're thorny and you know a couple are pretty but this property is infested with them so we've been trying to get rid of those um, and we've been cutting out the uh, Espino Negros which are spiny thorn trees keeping the big established ones of course but the smaller ones with the spines, so we've just been chopping back. So this is what's been going on on my farm, and I haven't talked to anybody in months because this is where I am, cutting back trunks, raking, burning, cleaning, painting, organizing, planning. Oh, it's a lot of work. I am blessed. What you can't see right here because it is a cloudy day is right behind here is Ometepe and the lake. So from my little casita up there, I can see the lake, a little bit of a volcano. It's pretty cool. And this is my life.